Okay, in this video, we're going to look at the um, radioactive substance isotope of nickel. It has a half life of about 76,000 years. And we're starting with 598 grams of nickel uh, 59. Okay. And we've got to figure out how many kilograms of this substance will be present after this many years and round to the nearest gram. Okay. So, um, so every half life, every half life, we have half of it left. Okay. Um, and this should say uh, grams, not kilograms, of course. Um, so every half-life, we should have half of it left. So basically, what we're looking at is um, um, kind of a year's and how many half-lives that is and then what's how much of the substance we have left in grams okay the grams remaining so it's kind of like we kind of got three columns in a way right so like initially now um, we have 598 grams right but after 76,000 years that's after one half life we'll have 598 times a half or a half of that right and that will give us uh, 598 you know times 0 0.5 299 299 grams okay half of that remaining right and twice this is uh, 140 152,000 isn't it 76 times 2, 152,000. So after 152,000 years, I'm just doing this for fun, that's two half lives. Uh, we'll have half of this left. So it'll be, you know, 299 times a half or 598 times a half to get 299 and then times a half again to get uh, half of this again, right? Or so, or five, or you could write this as 598, you know, times 0 0.5 to the power of um, two, right? That's a half times a half is a half squared, right? Or in your calculator, and you could put in a multiply sign. So I'm just going to go, you know, um, 598 uh, times 0 0.5 to the power of two, and that gives me 100. 49.5 grams left after 152,000 years, right? And after another 76,000 years, that is, um, so like after 228,000 years, that's um, three half lives. Sorry, you need to do that down here. So that is uh, 598 times a half after 76,000 years times another half after 152,000 years, times another half, and that's after 228,000 years. So that's 598, you know, times a half cubed, or 598, you know, I could write times in your calculator, 0 0.5 to the power of three, okay? So 598 times 0 0.5 to the power of three, and that gives 74.75 grams. 74.75 grams left after that. So we haven't answered the question yet, but I just wanted to run through this so you understand what's going on. Because um, you might notice that that when we have a um, when we want when we've got two half lives to figure out, it's to the power of two. See that that's the exponent. When we have three half-lives to figure out, it's to the power of three. Look at that in the formula. When you just have one half-life to figure out, it's 598 times a half to the power of one. Okay, This is just a calculator way of writing powers, right? But what we need to figure out is, like, how many half-lives is this, right? 
Well, 76,000 is one half-life. How many half-lives is that? So what we do is we go, um, so we got 105,509 years, right? How many half-lives is that? Well, we divide it. So we go like 105,509 divided by 76,000, right? So uh, clear, 105,509 divided by 76,000, and we get 1.388882 and so on, right? So I'm just gonna say, I'm just gonna take like um, five decimal points. So 1.388828, okay? Uh, approximately, right? So this is the number of half-lives we need to take. 105,509 years is approximately this many half-lives. It's not two half-lives, it's not one, it's somewhere in between. So our grams, by the way, should be somewhere in between 299 and 149. It should be somewhere in there, right? And so our formula is kind of like 598 times, you know, 0 0.5 to the power of and this is where we do our, you know, 1.388828, right? And put it in the calculator. But an even more accurate way, of course, is to go like, you know, 598 times 0 0.5 to the power of, and in parentheses, put our 105509 uh, divided by 76,000. And if you plug this entire thing in, that gives you your most accurate result, right? And you can do it this way too. I'm sure it'll be fine on the test. But I mean, this is the, the most accurate way. I'm just going to do it that way for fun. So 598 times 0 0.5 to the power of 105,509 over 76,000. And enter. And I get 228.44 grams. So that's, you know, approximately 228 grams. So it says round to the nearest gram, so I'm rounding to the nearest gram. That makes sense, right? Okay. So, um, and is that kind of in between our one half-life and our two half-lives? It is. 228 is in between 299 and 149. So, so it seems right, right? 